बेसिक बायोलॉजी ऑफ प्लाज्मेट एंड फेज वेक्टर्स सो टू डिलीवर द टारगेट डीएनए इनटू द होस्ट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म वी नीड क्लोनिंग वेक्टर और व्हीकल्स सो दैट द टारगेट डीएनए after insertion into the host organism it can replicate there and express there scientist has developed different type of vector system with the passage of time and they may be of different types like the bacterial plasmids they are well famous and uh, bacterial plasmids uh, they can deliver the target dna Uh, that is having the size of 15000 base pairs or 15 kilo bases after plasmids even lambda phages have also been used to deliver target dna and they relatively uh, transfer larger dna fragments as compared to plasmid and the size of the uh, target dna it may be uh, 24000 bases are 24 kilo bases then some plasmids uh, that contain the cohesive sites of the phage vectors have also been developed and those plasmids that contain cohesive sites that are necessary for the phage particle packaging they are called as the uh, cosmids now these cosmids they can transfer target dna having the size of uh, 34 kilo bases to 47 kilo bases and some other vectors that is phage mids uh, or phase mids they have also been developed uh, from uh, f1 uh, phages to baaz dafa kya hota hai ke from eukaryotic source aapko zyada bada fragment jo hai wo clone karna padta hai that is not possible by using plasmids or cosmids or lambda phage vectors so under such situations uh, scientists have developed uh, other artificial vectors like uh, bacterial artificial chromosomes or bags that can deliver larger dna fragments and even to clone larger dna fragments in yeast yeast artificial chromosome have also been developed but we are going uh, to start our discussion with plasmids as you well aware that plasmids mostly they are circular dna molecules that can replicate independently of the host chromosomes because they contain their own origin of replication so they are called as replicants jaise maine kaha ke plasmids jo hai ye mostly circular hote hain lekin ye hamesha aisa nahi hota there are some examples of uh, uh, bacteria like gram positive uh, streptomyces or even some uh, spirochetes like the borrelia they also contain linear plasmids but because they have uh, their own origin of replication so that's why they are also called as replicants but overall plasmids they are circular dna molecules with reference to the size of the plasmids their size it may ranges from a few thousand base pairs to uh, 400000 base pairs they may be having low molecular weight or high molecular weight this diagrams indicates the presence of nucleic acids in prokaryotic microorganisms like a bacterium so the portion of the chromosomes that occupy the cytoplasm it is called as the nucleoid so it is very famous region in bacteria and in addition to the bacterial chromosomes some other type of nucleic acids are also present and they are well known and they are called as the plasmids now the number of plasmids 
in the cell it may be variable and it is commonly called as the plasmid copy number and this number it is variable from one species to another species now the foreign dna can be inserted into the plasmid vector so artificially recombinant plasmids they are produced how it can be inserted you are well aware that uh, this uptake it may be mediated by certain chemicals that is in the presence of calcium chloride solution and sometime the cells they are natural competent that is they naturally have the ability to take the foreign dna but sometime this competency it is artificially induced and for this purpose calcium chloride solution it is used so artificially created recombinant molecule like the plasmids that contain the foreign dna and the host microorganisms they are incubated at low temperature and then the temperature it is suddenly raised to 37 or 43 degrees celsius so it will uh, temporarily increase the permeability of the membrane so that the artificial recombinant molecule it is being taken by the host organism another technique for the insertion of recombinant molecule it is the use of electric pulse and the technique it is known as electroporation now if the bacterium they contain plasmids what advantage it can enjoy by having such extra chromosomal dna or the replicons so briefly at this point i can say that when plasmids are there they increase the bacterial capability to survive in the environment especially when some sort of stress it is present so it increases the survivability of microorganisms under natural conditions but in addition to that it it can also exhibit different beneficial traits that we are going to discuss after some time